hello guys welcome back to our channel one of the people that i've always been listening to at the beginning and he later di deviated probably because he's actually in this dispensation was uh son soon advocate of nigeria kiyamo festus kiyamo uh, i listened to him one of these uh, some some years back some months back and he seemed to be defending something that is almost impossible to defend and it made him look so different during the time he became uh, the minister he has been a uh, should i say dancing to the gallery he has been the behaving let me permit me to use the word uh like a core politician that he is and not an activist and a lawyer of repute that we actually know him for well as it is right now don't forget that festus kiyamo is actually from the niger delta state that's the oil producing state and it you to shock you what he's used during after the meeting stakeholders meeting that they had with the presidency in the south south uh, region i'm talking about the south south um, region i'm talking about um potakot that uh, governor yes on wiki hosted but he the man opened up and spoke his mind for the very first time but before we go into the newspaper to find out what he is he's saying i'm surprised that he's willing to willing actually to speak his mind regardless of the fact that he's still on that pay uh, in this dispensation like he subscribed to our channel by clicking on the right subscribe button beside it to see a bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on youtube all right the honorable minister of state of labor and employment former minister of state ninja delta affairs senior advocate of nigeria and fellow festus kayama's son has come again to support ninja delta he he used one of his social media handle to encourage Niger Delta people to support resource control and fiscal fed federalism of the country. Festus Kiyama San also said leadership is not forever. Now that is wonderful. So which means all this well, let's continue with the news. So we are here today. We will come back home tomorrow sacrosanct now that is is constant k you can't be in a leadership position forever you will come back home so whatever propaganda all of us are playing on the leadership please continue a max is eight years we will all come back home that home that we neglected we played lip service to that home we played propaganda to we will come back home we'll meet those youths you called what less use youth you meet those youth you call lazy youth you meet those youth that you feel that they're not ready for leadership of tomorrow you will meet them and they will remind you so oga welcome home that thing you've been doing this is it too there's nothing at home let's continue what he said on his social media handle he said it's not because we are here today we will we'll, we'll come back home tomorrow and any niger delta son that does not support resource control fiscal federalism is a bastard of the region festus kayamo san at the party with south south governor and stakeholders on tuesday november 24 2020 said let me quickly read uh, the way he said it on his page he said it's not because we are here today we will we will come back home tomorrow and any ninja data son that does not support resource control and fiscal federalism is a bastard son bastard of the region first is kiyama san at the party with south south governors and stakeholders on tuesday november 24 2020 and at that particular uh, sentence he made statement he made has generated has sparked a lot of reactions honestly nigerians were like ah, you have woken up hallelujah it's a serious one but let's see what nigerians are saying this is this way here is saying ah thank god you are awake <laughs> this is ah, last lap since i started coming now that's a good one the first you know they all behaved as if they were not going to come home it's doing close the protest that we had the father fulani has been ravaging the land coming to the south south there are a lot of things that uh, all rise insecurity here and there poverty uh lack of job is beginning to hit home so you gotta start standing with the youth because the youth looks as if they're about to take what belongs to them but it's going to be a long one though but at least a journey of a thousand miles it begins with a step at least the youth have started with a step let's continue this one here is saying uh well said when it comes to the affairs of my origin ninja delta you're always in front to voice support this one is again well done boss this one here is saying uh now lie 
then they hack this account. This account cannot be talk. Somebody don't hack your account. Are you serious? As in, you see, Nigerians don't even believe you can say such because we are so used to propaganda. We are so used to hearing, we keep hearing lip services. For crying out loud, we can't continue on propaganda for long. It's just a matter of time. It will blow on our faces. Countries are moving on speed lane on development. We are retrogressing on speed lane. I'm going backward. It won't help this country. This one here is saying, just to excite the Niger Delta people, why you go back to Abuja to do the bidding of the Malams to please them. Whoa. Now, this is really nice. She said, talk is cheap. Now, to do the talk and be the cocoa. Well, that's true. Talk can be cheap, you know. Action speaks far, far louder than voice. This one here is saying, who can, who come reset your brain now? I don't know. We need to ask him that. This one here said, was he at any time working against Niger Delta interest? Or is it an offense to take up appointment with the federal government? He never worked against... Okay, let me quickly, quickly say this. He never worked against Ninja Delta. All right? He never did. But there's this general belief that as a son of the soil, when you feel or you see marginaliz marginalization in your region, you should speak up. That's the beauty of having somebody in the helm of affairs. If not, then you, there's no usefulness. If in your region you keep speaking up, as that when do, and you see marginalization... Because we have you there, you should be able to voice the voice. You just speak the voice of the people. That's the beauty. Although, yes, yeah, some persons say it's only an appointment. So he has limited. Um, he's limited in his voice in, in his speaking. Is it? It's better to speak up, and they say you have spoken too much and ask you to resign. Than you keep quiet and a lot of things are happening. Because the first Kiyamo, I knew before he took appointment, became a, a politician and a government official, he was one articulate person who we argue with to the last, an activist to the core. You can't beat him to an argument. He stands his ground, he stands it. And he will give you proofs and facts to back up his plans, his, his, uh, his uh, views. And most, most often than not, he's always standing with the people. But as soon as he entered government, God became a government official, it looks as if his voice was ceased. You know, sometimes I listened to him, I was like, is this the Festus Keyamo that I knew? What happened? I guess government happened. So I guess bit by bit, he's beginning to get back his voice. Like somebody said, maybe this is the last lap. Who, would, who knows? But time eventually will tell if because it's the last lap that he's talking or because he really is tired of propaganda going in the state, in the region. Don't forget very quickly that in uh, this 774,000 uh, jobs he had, he was supposed to pay uh, for, for, I think, artisans or so there about, could remember that he had a face-off with the, the lawmakers Simply because he even screamed that they wanted to hijack it. It was not a small matter. Some persons may see that as a small thing. He, honestly, on that one, I gave it to him. He stood his ground. And sometimes we don't know the, the nitty gritty that goes on behind the politics. But all I'm only saying that what should be done is justice. What whichever region deserves what should be given. We've we've tried as a nation. We've tried as a people. It's not right to rob Peter to people, Paul. And if he's saying, look, let's support this, then it's for the good of everybody, including the South-South region. Well, that's where we're going to wrap it up because a lot of Nigerians are talking. So let me just take one more uh, one more comment here. This one here says, what is that? What is it that some Yorubas are easily deceived? This one here now says, what, drag, what drags the Yorubas into the matter? It's first to scare more Yoruba man again. No, it's not a Yoruba man, please. He's in Kor Ninja Delta. Kor. Kor Ninja Delta. He's from South South region. Well, for those who are for those who are um older, very older generation, he's from the old eastern region. Before we did now broke it down now to South East and South South. So if you're looking at the olden days um, uh, geographical map, he's from the old eastern region. But if you're looking at the present day ge geographical map, he is from the south south region. That's all going to wrap it up. Please let's meet in our comment section. What's your take on what Festus Kiyamo is saying? 
right now, first thing, is blowing hot. Oh. I pray that he maintains this tempo. Hopefully, we may see changes.